Hello and welcome to KLM Institute. Today, we're taking a closer look at the Make in India program, which has just marked a decade since its inception in 2014. Despite extensive government efforts, the manufacturing sector's share of GDP is still lower than it was 10 years ago. Manufacturing sectors missed target. As of 2023 to 2024, the contribution of manufacturing to India's GDP stands at 15.9%, down from 16.7% in 2013 to 2014. The government has aimed to increase this to 25% by 2030, but several factors are holding back progress, key bottlenecks and missed opportunities. Investment and technological upgrades were expected to power, making India forward. However, challenges like high logistics costs, skill gaps, and bureaucratic red tape have slowed the program's momentum, raising questions about its long-term viability in competing with global manufacturing hubs like Vietnam and Mexico. Proposed solutions to revive Make in India, reduce logistics costs. India's logistics costs are notably higher than competitors. Fast-tracking the PM Gati Shakti scheme could help bring these costs down attract technology and innovation. To achieve self-sufficiency, India needs to encourage foreign direct investment that brings advanced technology and innovation. This would require better tax incentives and smoother approval processes. Skill development in high-demand sectors. Upskilling the workforce to meet industry demands is crucial. Specialized training programs in collaboration with global leaders could help bridge the skill gap. Streamline approvals and procedures. Expanding the national single window system across states could ease business operations and reduce bureaucratic delays. Industry-specific infrastructure. Setting up focused industrial zones tailored to sectors like electronics, textiles, and semiconductors could make India a preferred destination for specialized manufacturing. Incentives for tech upgrades, subsidies or low-interest loans for modernizing outdated infrastructure could attract businesses looking for advanced manufacturing bases. Boost domestic semiconductor production. Accelerating the Semiconductor India program could help reduce dependence on imports, stabilizing India's tech sector, improve crime and safety measures. Ensuring secure industrial zones is essential for attracting foreign investment. Strong law enforcement could build confidence among international firms. Promote social cohesion and stability. Reducing religious and social tensions is vital for creating an investor-friendly environment. Programs promoting inclusivity could go a long way in fostering national unity. Integrate MSMEs into global supply chains. Supporting MSMEs through finance and marketing initiatives can help them become significant players in the global supply chain, boosting India's export capability. Significance of these reforms. Implementing these measures could help India compete more effectively with global manufacturing hubs. With strategic planning and execution, the Make in India program can achieve its goal of making India a manufacturing powerhouse. Thank you for tuning in to KLM Institute for this update on India's manufacturing sector. India has vast potential, and with the right adjustments, Make in India can still achieve its ambitious goals. Stay with us for more insights on the economic landscape. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to KLM Institute.